And good afternoon. Hope you're having a good, safe Thursday. We have thunderstorms starting to develop on the Cumberland Plateau near Crossville, also up near London, Kentucky. And we already have a severe thunderstorm warning for Laurel County, Kentucky until 415. And a new severe thunderstorm watch has been extended, just issued for the rest of East Tennessee up into Kentucky. One earlier for the plateau still in place. This is going to go until 11 p.m. tonight. So from right now through 11 p.m., we do have that chance for strong to severe storms. Now, the main impact is expected to be large hail. Some isolated damage of wind gusts will also be possible, but large hail may be hail size up to uh, two inches in diameter, which is hen egg size. We could be talking about hail sizes golf ball or larger out of some of these stronger cells that develop this afternoon. So again, hail is going to be one of the main threats at, in addition to the isolated damage and wind gusts. So what do you need to do for the rest of this afternoon into this evening? You need to stay weather alert. We have a weather impact alert that is is in place through this evening from right now through this evening. And so we'll continue to keep you updated on that going forward. But again, as far as our timeline, we're talking about right now through 11 p.m. And as I mentioned, the main impacts will continue to be those uh, potential for those stronger cells. So uh, as I mentioned, we'll put our weather impact alert up on our banner as we are under a weather impact alert. We're going to have a full update, of course, coming up in moments, uh, coming up on 10 about town at four o'clock. But we're going to go ahead and walk Walk you through what's expected the rest of this afternoon and this evening right now. So weather impact alert through this evening through 11 p.m. Here's a look at the severe risk. As you can see, this is expanded a little bit from last night. This is by the Storm Prediction Center, but basically from Jackson to Nashville to Cookville, Crossville, Knoxville, all the way to the rest of East Tennessee into North Carolina, neighbors to our south. This is an elevated slight risk, level two out of five for strong to severe storms with large hail and some damage and wind gusts, the main impact. So again, zooming on in, all of the Channel 10 viewing area is under an elevated severe thunderstorm risk. Now again, as a reminder, the primary risk, large hail and isolated damage and wind gusts. Those are the two main risks. Maybe some isolated flooding, but it looks like these sales will be progressive. Not really looking at tornado potential, as we're mainly looking at the atmosphere conducive for strong updraft strength with cold air aloft, warm surface temperatures. That's going to promote strong updrafts and the formation of large hail due to that cold air aloft. And also we could have some stronger winds aloft could be transferred down the surface for some damage and wind gusts. So here's our potential impacts again from right now. And uh, we have four at 11 p.m., but basically now through 11 p.m. Quarter size hail or larger could be up to two inch in diameter or larger. In some cases, again, two inch hail is hen egg size or larger. Uh, power outages from uh, down trees, some isolated damage and wind gusts possible. We have both of those at a, a moderate impact. Now, localized flooding, low tornado threat, not likely. So that's a look at our potential impacts. Uh, let's talk about hail sizes. This will give you an idea. Again, it's kind of a little bit uh, slightly rare to have the potential for hail sizes larger than golf balls. Severe hail is quarter size or larger. So when we're talking about quarter size, that is one, one inch in diameter. Here's a quarter right here. And notice it starts at the smallest in the scale, a quarter inch diameter, that's pea size. So small hail, pretty typical. We're likely already seeing some small to medium sized hail developing, but could have quarter size hail or larger right now in Kentucky. We'll take you there in a moment. Here's golf ball. That's one and three quarter inch, 1.75 inches in diameter. And there's hen egg size hail. That's two inches in diameter right there and you don't want to get up toward the tennis ball, baseball, softball and grapefruit is certainly that increases exponentially. And of course, that's when you get into the very rare and exceptionally rare sizes for those larger hailstones. But here's what's happening right now. It's a warm, humid day. That's Gatlinburg. Here's downtown. We're 75, but a dew point of 60. It is not only much warmer today, it is humid. Look at these dew points. So when you have warm, moist air at the surface and heating in the mid to upper 70s, some areas could even get close to 80 before all is said and done. And that cold air loft moving in, those set the stage and those are the ingredients for strong to severe storms with hail formation likely. So a severe thunderstorm watch will include just about all of East Tennessee until it does include all of East Tennessee, excuse me, but Plateau and Kentucky until 11 p.m. So that's in place for uh, the rest of this afternoon through this evening. Here's what we're seeing right now. All the yellow polygons that you see back in Middle Tennessee up into Kentucky and even over toward Asheville. Again, this is the impacts of that cold air loft starting to slide in. The upper level trough is back in here. That's what's going to be moving 
moving right across our area and giving us a good chance for some strong to severe storms. But we're already seeing the influence of some of that cool air aloft with daytime heating and some winds increasing and instability. What we call lapse rates are increasing. Vertical motion in the atmosphere is starting to increase. So here's what we're looking at. We have a strong to severe thunderstorm for parts of Kentucky. We have scattered storms on Rockwood Mountain, Walden's Ridge, around Crab Orchard, east of Crossville, into Morgan County, Roan County, and they're scattered strong to severe storms over around uh, Weaverville and Asheville, North Carolina. Let's take you up to Kentucky. Here's the severe thunderstorm warning we have right now. This does include Laurel County until uh, 4 p.m. now, and so that is a radar indicated storm. Look at this hail potential, though. This is what we're looking at. There's a potential for some very large hail right here in moving through the northeastern Laurel County, so just north and east of London. That's potentially a quarter size, maybe even golf ball size hail or larger. Now that storm is growing. Elsewhere, we have scattered strong storms. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning for Bell, Knox, and Whitley counties until 4:15. That was just issued a moment ago, and we also have a uh, strong storms developing, as you can see right here, into portions of Campbell County and Claiborne County. So from just south, wrong uh, icon, let's get that different. Uh, here's a look from just south of Clarefield into the Powell Valley around Speedwell. We're looking at developing storms. So heads up into Claiborne County, a uh, developing storm there. And we take you to Cumberland County. Again, we are looking at those showers and storms that stretch back into northern Bledsoe County, kind of moving from Cumberland County, Morgan into Roan County developing showers and storms. So here's what we're looking at right now. The valley were partly cloudy, warm and dry, but thunderstorms will continue to develop. Let's go hour by hour right now at five o'clock. Notice those storms up on the Cumberland Plateau on up toward La Follette, Huntsville, Jamestown. They're starting to increase across parts of the region from the plateau. As we move to 6 p.m., they're getting a little bit closer into the valley. So we're talking about places like uh, Sweetwater, Kingston, Oliver Springs, Oak Ridge, maybe up toward Clinton, La Follette, Jellicoe, and near Tasswell. So this is the area that has that potential for some strong to severe storms at 6 p.m. Closing in on Knoxville, maybe just to our west, 7 p.m., we're looking at those scattered strong to severe storms from Kentucky down into the Knoxville, Maribel area, Sweetwater, and continuing down toward Cleveland and Bradley County. Then 8 p.m., more of the scattered strong to possible severe storms continues. There's 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Again, this is going to be an, uh, through the evening event with these scattered strong to occasional severe storms. And then there's 11 p.m. We're going to see this uh, maybe final cluster of heavier showers and storms starting to pass through. Once we get past 11 p.m., the overall intensity of storms will lessen. The severe thunderstorm watch is in place until 11 p.m. And those storms will quickly start to wind on down once we get past 11 p.m. tonight. So there's a recap of what we're seeing. Warm, moist, unstable air with an upper level low pressure system again moving on in and that's going to give us the ideal ingredients for some of these strong to severe storms once as we move through this evening again there's 11 p.m. tonight then we're talking about those strong storms starting to gradually lessen by late tonight and tomorrow morning so that's a wrap up for what we're looking at uh, coming up through the rest of this afternoon into this evening a reminder we have a 10 weather impact alert that is in place right now through 11 p.m. and we are talking about that potential for some large hail and also some isolated damage and wind gusts. We're going to be tracking these storms as we go through this evening, so you can keep it right here for the latest. We get a push notification whenever there's uh, some strong to severe storms moving into East Tennessee, just like you got this alert for this live stream right now. So that's what we'll be tracking again through 11 p.m. Between now and 11 p.m., some of these strong to severe, severe storms will be possible. So again, the main threats are hail and isolated damage and wind gusts. What do you need to do? Stay weather alert throughout the rest of this afternoon into this evening and certainly be prepared to move indoors. And a reminder right here, uh, go ahead and enable those weather alerts on your phone and your smartphone and your iPad, your different devices and tablets. Enable those weather alerts so you can be notified when a uh, severe thunderstorm or any warnings are issued. A reminder, we're under a watch right now, which means broadly speaking, severe weather is possible. Conditions are favorable for severe weather over a large area, but that's a watch. That just means go about your day, be on the lookout, stay weather alert. A warning means that we are looking at uh, a warning means severe weather is imminent or happening. So keep your phones handy, stay weather alert. If any warnings are issued as we go through this evening, they likely will be as we'll be tracking severe storms. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for now. 10 about town coming up at four o'clock. We'll see you back in just a few moments.